Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Time Machine. I'm Harper, and today we're all going to get a healthy dose of tough love. Now, some of this might sting a little, it might seem a little harsh, but it's not intended to be mean. It's just a little sprinkle of brutal honesty. Last week, I had a come to Jesus meeting with myself. It was time to face the music and the stark reality of, well, reality. And I thought some other people might need to hear it as well. And here it is. Are you ready? For the most part, nobody cares about your art. Ouch! That hurts. I mean, maybe your mom cares a little, or your significant other, your BFF, your dog. Your cat definitely doesn't give a shit about it. I know. It sucks. Feels like a gut punch or a hard slap to the back of the head, but you just gotta put on your big pragmatic pants and power through it. And to help you deal with this inconvenient truth, I'm gonna share with you the number one thing you can do to keep on going and to protect yourself and your work from the cold, cold silence of nobody giving a shit. A couple days ago, I went to Instagram to post a sketchbook drawing, and I happened to glance at how many followers I had. Honestly, I don't really keep track anymore. I gave up on that shit years ago. But for some reason, it really bummed me out. I've been on Instagram for like, what, almost 10 years? I've posted over 900 times, and I only have 536 followers? Hmm... Then I started scrolling through my feed, enjoying all the awesome artwork and the vintage pics of pinup ladies, and I noticed a trend. I saw a ton of great artists, bands, and writers, and comedians with really low follower counts. I mean, I understand why I'm not crushing it, but damn, these people should be huge. Why aren't more people supporting them? Then I clicked over to Fartbook, and it was the same thing. Next, I checked out the shit show Vomit Vortex called Twitter. Same. There's a ton of great work out there, just not getting the love that it deserves. And as I scrolled on through my feed, I saw a GoFundMe account for someone with a virus. I saw lost jobs, lost loves, a car accident, a baby born, a promotion, birthdays, weddings, funerals, and a fantastic photo of an omelet that had to be the envy of every brunch muncher everywhere. (sighs) Dramatic pause. And then it hit me. Imagine that I just got slapped in the face with a giant carp. (laughs) Thanks. I needed that. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just jump in here real quick to talk about this painting a little. Right about here is that dreaded middle part of any painting where everything looks like the inside of a tipped over porta potty at Coachella. It's all wrong, and you don't think you'll ever be able to fix it because there's shit everywhere. And the question you're facing now needs another analogy. Let's say you're the pilot of a small plane and you're in a critical nosedive going down, down, down. There is no way you're going to be able to pull out of this one. Do you grab the parachute and bail out? Or do you fight that joystick all the way to the ground, hoping for a miracle? But I don't want to jump out. I've already wasted, I mean, uh, spent four and a half hours on this art flight. Yeah, I know. It's a hell of a dilemma. This image was supposed to be a quick and easy, super loose romp in the sketchbook. But of course, it turned into about 10 hours of painting. After I finally turned the corner and pulled it out of that nosedive, it started to get fun. And I learned some new stuff about color combinations and background atmosphere that we'll talk about in a future video. Oh, and here's the thumbnail I drew while I was on a Zoom conference call for work. All right, that's it for now. Let's get back to the rant. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh, right. I had an epiphany after getting slapped in the face with an imaginary fish. 
And here's my moment of clarity. Get this. People have way more important things going on in their lives than caring about my drawing of a punk rock vampire with a heart of gold. I mean, sure, it's a pretty cool drawing, but in the grand scheme of things, not very important. Nope, not really. And there it was. My tiny fake problem of other people not caring about the stuff I make is ridiculous. Yeah, no, I know. It sucks when you work your ass off for hours or days or years handcrafting and creating your art and you're all excited and you release it to the world and instead of getting yays and hoorays, the only sounds you hear are crickets chirping and tumbleweeds blowing through a ghost town of apathy. It's the sound of silence. Yeah, totes bums. But here's what you gotta do. You gotta just put it out of your mind. You gotta give that shit the frozen treatment. Let it go, let it go. (laughs) There's an awful lot of singing on this video. Not sure I like this guy. I mean it. You gotta let it go, cause it'll eat you up. And more importantly, it'll keep you from creating new stuff. And as it turns out, That fish slap in the face was the slap of freedom. That's right. It was the realization that I don't have to make stuff that anyone else likes. I can make whatever I want the way I want, and I can only make it the best I can at the time. The judgment of others, the worry, the need for approval, and weird anxiety doesn't matter. Well, I mean, unless you're trying to make some money... Then you gotta make stuff that other people care about. But if you're just talking about your own personal art, well, then you can tell the world to go all day long. And yes, I know people do care about a lot of art. I'm just taking it to an extreme to illustrate a point. There's tons of things that people care about. That's what pop culture is. Movies, books, music, video games. The stuff that keeps us all entertained and that we love. But who do you think cared about all of those things before they were a big deal? Nobody. Nobody except the people who created them. And that's the big takeaway here. The only thing that really matters about your art is that you care. Now, that doesn't mean that it's bad to care about what other people think. For example, when it comes to making YouTube videos, do I still care about my subscribers, views, comments, watch time, monetization, thumbnails, titles, and tags, and blah, blah, blah? Of course I do, because it's all part of the big, crazy, fun game. But you want to know what I care about more? (laughs) Like way more? Like not even close more? Drawing, painting, and writing. So when you break it all down and cut out the BS, the number one thing you can do to keep going in the silence of the giant yawning so what of the world is care. You gotta care about your art. Because if we don't care about it, why are we making it? What's the point? Nobody else cares. I think I just got goosebumps. And by the way, the title of this painting is Cybernetic Doom Soldiers Take a Selfie. And it's currently available for the low, low price of only $37,382.78. Please contact my agent at the Lance T. Funbottom Gallery in Los Angeles or the Herbert Birdsfoot Gallery right here in beautiful downtown Phoenix. And please... 
serious inquiries only. (laughs) Okay, thanks. For more hot sketchbook action, cool stories about art and life, and dad jokes, check out these sweet videos right here. And if you thought this video was at least a 5 out of 10 on the awesome scale, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you'll never miss another sketchbook video right here on the Time Machine. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.